this is a poem that can make us feel really uncomfortable, um, but it's 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 an it's an impassioned demand for God to take control of uh, the speaker's um, soul um, and help him to believe and to surrender to an all-powerful God. So three-personed God, right away in the first line, in Christianity, you have the idea of God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. And the mystery is that these three entities are one. So three are one. So there's a three-person to God. Batter my heart. Smash my heart. For you, as yet but not breathe, shine, and seek to mend, that I may rise and stand, overthrow me, and bend your force to break, blow, burn, and make me new. Those consonants, those single-syllable powerful verbs really batter they're, they're knocking at us. And, and the first images are of a potter, what a potter does with mud on uh, the wheel to, to, create, um, uh, to create something. He's asking to be, to be breathed into, to be recreated, to smash through his heart and to be recreated um, uh, by God in the way a potter would create a pot. And now we get... Another shift in classic metaphysical uh, uh, mood. Now he compares himself to a town that's been overtaken because I, the simile, like a usurped town to another do, labor to admit you. So I've been taken over. I'm a town that's been taken over and I'm really struggling to let you in to no end. It's not working. I can't let you in. Reason, your viceroy in me, me should defend, but is captivated and proves weak or untrue. You gave me reason, reason rules over me, and he should defend the town, but he's captive. And he's, he's weak and not, not able, so reason, I know I should believe in you, but it's, it's, not, it's not working, I'm too weak. And now comes the last image, which is the most uncomfortable one, which is of a woman who has been forcefully married. Yet dearly I love you and would be loved fain, but am betrothed unto your enemy. So she's married. He is now the bride who's married to the enemy. Please divorce me. Untie or break that knot again, the knot of marriage. Take me to you. Now look at the language. is so violent. First he's asking to be untied, but now he's asking to be imprisoned. For except you enthrall me, unless you take me over, I'll never be free. I'll never be chaste. I'll never be sexually correct and pure, except if you ravish or rape me. So this incredibly difficult and elaborate poem is asking... For God to, in this last image, and I think it's meant to shock the reader, to be raped, to be forcefully, powerfully taken over as a way of believing, um, as a way of surrendering to God. And he's asking because his reason is, he should be believing, his reason should be committing, but he can't, he can't do it. And he, he doesn't just need help, he needs force, he needs imprisonment, destruction, and actually in the final line, rape, ravishing to to submit